Hey guys, I'm Maren. This is Phil. And together we're open road touring. The next adventure is on the horizon. We're getting everything ready to head off to Cape York. So I've done a, a few changes to the truck and I'm gonna run us through what those changes are. Well, what have you changed? The kitchen. Paper towel roll here. Oh cool. Paper, right. not, the tea towels hang up. Dry. There's also another one here, look. So you can hang oh, cool, the yeah. this one up here, sort of, yep. you know. I've got the soda stream, which is Velcroed to the to the panel, so it's not going to move. Look at that. That's like that. great. Soda siphon is really important for our gin and tonics with or gin and soda water. This is where the the oils and things, the big things, which won't fit in the drawers. But on top of that, we've got the spice rack. So the spices sit in here, right next to where you're cooking, and they sit in there nice and um, tightly. And this the spice rack here again is made from three mil marine ply, covered in the marine carpet and I velcro it onto the wall and the wall here is a, the marine carpet and the idea of the velcro is I can move things around if it's in the in the wrong spot. Well I'm really excited about the kitchen it looks fantastic I think it's going to work so well and thank you also for cleaning the stove it was a bit dirty. Right, thank you. So what's new at the back? New ladder. I trashed the telescopic ladder it was too flimsy and it was hard on the feet so this one here it's got nice flat treads and I've put these marine carpet things on there so now when you go up, it's really nice. So much better than that ladder that came with the tent. And it's so easy and so nice to come down straight into my Ugg boots. Okay, around here, around to the bathroom side, you have the slide out sink. The sink is a custom made sink slide from Dun & Watson. Dun & Watson were very helpful making this custom sink slide for me. I noticed that Dun & Watson had a, a slide for a small slide for a generator. So I contacted them and they adapted the generator slide for a sink slide. It's made from the combination of a generator slide and I got them to simply turn the tray upside down and then cut a hole in for the sink and then the back edge here, I got them to turn that up to create a little bit of a back edge. I put a tap here, which is connected to my pump. And if you need to wash the dishes, you simply just expand it down and you can fill it up. And the best thing about this is to empty the sink. <laughs> and what's really cool about the collapsible sink, for washing the dishes, it's obviously deep, but the reality is that often, you don't want to waste so much water. And so what's really cool about this collapsible sink is it's really quite shallow. So you just put a little bit of water in it to wash your hands. But what's really cool about this watch, we had the kitchen before, now we have the bathroom. And so there's the mirror, all the stuff in here. And what's really useful about this is in the bathroom mode, you, you're inside and it's often protected. Perfect for cleaning your teeth. I made this cover for the sink slide out of three millimeter marine ply and I've covered it in marine carpet. So we've got a little library in there as well. Yeah, this is the Wookiee. Why is it a Wookiee? Because it's really hairy. Down here's the library. Yep. So all the, all the maps and the books can go down there. Yep. There's three cup holders here which take big water containers. Five USB sockets to charge the drone. Awesome. And the cigar socket for other things that can plug in there. Yep. The radio is down here charging because there's a... And I've got an inverter which comes with the truck to charge the radio. And the drone could go in here. And I've got a lot of these Velcro sort of stick on things which are really good. And they stick really well onto the, the marine carpet. Stuff goes up here. Cool. Cape York, here we come. We have six weeks. It's the first long trip we're gonna have in our truck, so it's gonna be great to try it out. Got a basic route mapped out. I'm straight up to the Artesian Basin. In New South Wales, um, there's all these underground bores and all these little towns that have hot springs. So I picture like all these little country towns, a little pool, sit there, soak, maybe a pub, have a beer, meet some other travelers on the road. Um, and then straight up to Cape York. Then we have time to sort of meander around up the top and come down. What I love about this kind of traveling is meeting all the people. I found that in the pandemic, people can't go overseas. So you meet all these really interesting people that are traveling around Australia instead of going overseas. You know, people who have um, interesting backgrounds and stories and have traveled a lot and like-minded people. So I'm looking forward to, to that. Just gotta get packed 
and then we're ready to go. So stay tuned to follow us on our adventure and don't forget to subscribe.